Hello guys, welcome to CK Educational Hub. Today we are going to study successive differentiation. So the first question is what is successive differentiation? So let us define the successive differentiation by defining a function y is equal to fx. Okay. Now differentiate this y is equal to fx function with respect to x. Then dy upon dx is equal to f dx x and we will write this dy by dx by y1 which equals to f dx here y1 represents that the given function is differentiating first time okay now further differentiate this function with respect to x then y2 is equals to f double dx of x here y2 represents that the given function is differentiated twice now further differentiate this function with respect to x and y3 is equal to f triple dex x ok here y3 represent that the given function is differentiate third time so here you can see that the given function is differentiated successively means the process of differentiating a function successively is called successive differentiation here our main motto is to find out nth derivative means when we, we differentiate this given function nth time then the what is the nth derivative so further differentiate it and we will get yn is equal to now here we will discuss the process how, how we can find nth derivative of a function so let us take an example y is equal to x to the power n we have to find y n is equal to what so first differentiate this function with respect to x y1 is equal to n x to the power n minus 1 now further differentiate it y2 n yeah, n minus 1 x to the power n minus 2 again differentiate this function y3 is equal to n n minus 1 and here n minus 2 x to the power n minus 3 ok here we can see that when we are differentiating the function first time here x to the power n minus 1 when we are differentiating it second time here x to the power n minus 2 when differentiating it third time here n is equal to n minus 3 and here we can see when it differentiating second time the coefficient is n minus 1 when differentiate it third time the coefficient is n minus 3 and when differentiate it first time coefficient is n minus 0 so further differentiate it we will get y n and we can write it like n n minus 1 n minus 2 dot dot up to here when 3 then n minus 2 then when n then this is n minus 1 ok and x to the power n minus 3 then 3 the n means n minus n so we will write it like n n minus 1 n minus 2 dot dot yes n minus n plus 1 and x to the power 0 write it like n n minus 1 n minus 2 up to here this is cancel out 2 means 3 2 1 x to the power 0 is 1 this is nothing but factorial n ok or we can write it like n factorial n now second different example is y is equal to sin x ok differentiate it first time then sin x is cos x and we will write it like sin pi by 2 plus x now differentiate y2 cos x is minus sin of x now write it like sin 
pi plus x okay and we can write it like sine 2 into pi by 2 plus x now further differentiate it y3 is minus sine x is minus cos of x now we will write it sine 3 pi by 2 plus x here we can see when we are differentiating the function first time here the question 1 sine of 1 into pi by 2 plus x when differentiating a second time sine 2 into pi by 2 plus x when differentiating a second time then sine 3 into pi by 2 plus x now further differentiate it up to y n then this will become sine second 2 when differentiate in third time then 3 n time then n into pi by 2 plus x this is the nth derivative of sin x by this method we can find out n derivative of every function in in the next video we will discuss about the about the standard um, form of n derivative okay so till then, take care.